hated my mother. I just have to be honest. I grew up in a house where I thought my mother loved my sister more than me. It was her way. Um, if Tamia didn't have it, Penny didn't have it. If Tamia had it, Penny could be happy. And that's how I felt. So I started doing things, acting out to show that I was upset or anything that could make her upset because I, didn't, I wasn't happy. That's how I grew up. I slept in a room by myself. I saw them conversate a lot, but I was never involved in the conversation. I know my mom loved me because she was a single parent and she did all that she could for us. And I knew that part of it, but I didn't have a relationship with her. And I knew I didn't have a relationship with her. It wasn't until Michael Vincent. I was really sick. <laughs> I say I was allergic to my pregnancy. Because anything I tried to eat, I could not eat. I could not drink water. I, I had lost, I had gone down to 110 pounds from 180 during my pregnancy. But my mom, <laughs> who I hated so much, had to take care of me. Because I couldn't do anything for myself, nothing. I was in and out of the hospital. I had to go every week for IVs to eat because that was the only way I could eat. My mom took care of me. During that time, she would sit, she would rub me down, she would clean me, she would lotion me, she would do her best to feed me. And she would talk to me and she would talk to God over me. She would talk to God over me. I fell in love with my mom. <laughs> I fell in love with my mom and that was the relationship that I needed in my life. And I thank God for it. Uh, <laughs> He's done something I could put my hand on it. <laughs> For me. Is there any other witness out here? That may not be your story, but you can lift your hands and say, he's done something for me. He's done something for me. I went in the valley, but I didn't go to stay. Look, look at you now. But my soul got happy. I stayed there. He's done something. Hallelujah. I have another one. Last High Holy, Bishop was playing the piano and he said he felt a burning in his chest and he felt it and he felt it so he called it out. That was me. For two weeks I had been, it was a burning in my breast just a burning, a burning. It was, it hurt so bad, but it was just a burn. And it was funny that that was the description that he gave because that was exactly what was going on. It was just throbbing and burning. And I didn't know what it was, but it scared the mess out of me because, you know, just a year ago, I watched my friend die from cancer. She did not win that battle. And being in the medical field, I... I was expecting something that I didn't want. 
Bishop said in church, he said, some of us have high hopes for ourselves and we, we have this thing that we want to do, but our actions show a different thing. I didn't want this, but my actions were being in the medical field, my knowledge, this is what breast cancer. I did a 5K March 22nd. And after that, well, not, I'm sorry, May 22nd, I did a 5K. And after that, it developed into sores, the burning. I had sores underneath my breast. And it was just, they were running. It was, it was not good. And when he called that out, I noticed within two days that the sores had dried up. There was still a little burning, but I knew that was a miracle because they actually shrank. They actually shrank. And I had never experienced a miracle like that before, but I have no problems. I have no problems whatsoever. 